Welcome to Tips for Clips. Today I'll show you how to trim three different styles of beard, eventually ending off with a clean shave, my first clean shave in just about 10 years. First I'm starting off with a full beard and I'm going to go straight down on the sides and I'm going to show you what I do here. You just want a straight line, keep everything looking as naturally as possible. Just want to trim the excess hairs there around your cheekbone and then straight down on the sides. On the bottom, again, you want to keep it natural. Just trim along the bottom, don't go too high. Nothing to it here. And then I'm going to go along the bottom of the mustache. And I'm also going to go along the sides of the mustache and the top of the mustache. And that's it for our first style. This is how to shape up a full beard. Next I'm going to take my wireless trimmers here and I'm going to go for a slightly older look, a chin strap. And I'm just going to go a little bit lower than where I did on my cheeks. And I sort of want to make almost a 90 degree angle. And I'm actually going to end up going a little bit higher when I get to my neck on this step, as you'll see. I'm going to do the same exact thing on both sides. Not a bad look, just a little bit outdated. And then along the bottom, I'm going to go a little bit higher as I mentioned. If you're going to go for this look, I do recommend going just a bit higher than where I went with the full beard. And then the final step, which is optional, is to go along the sides of my sole patch. Just clean it up there. This is optional, but it sometimes makes it look a little bit cleaner and neater. Depends on your preference. And that's just about it for the second style of beard. Third, and here I'm sort of just having a little bit of fun, dashing through my chin strap here. I'm gonna take off the sides and leave just the goatee. Along the sides of the goatee, you wanna go straight down, and on the bottom, you wanna round it off. Same thing on the other side. My sideburns, I choose to go a little bit lower than midway past my ear. And I'm going to do the same thing, go straight down along the side of the goatee. And as you're trimming your sideburns, make sure you get it as straight as you can horizontally. Sometimes it's deceiving. Uh, just look at different angles and make sure it's nice and horizontal. Here I'm going to lighten up my goatee just a little bit. I recommend starting somewhere around a number three uh, and feeling how short you want it. My mustache grows a little bit thicker so uh, I go with a smaller number, a lower number on my mustache. Maybe a one or a two. Here I use the one. But depending on how short you want it, I recommend starting with higher numbers and then going lower. And after trimming it, I'm just touching it up one more time. You could touch up the top of the mustache, the sides, make it as sharp as you want. You can also touch up just a little bit more 
on the inside of the goatee, making sure that that line is straight and neat, as well as the sole patch. And that's it for the second beard style. Here's the goatee. And then last but not least, I will shave off everything. This is the first time I'm doing this in about 10 years. I am just gonna go with these trimmers. They're nice and sharp and simple to use and take off the goatee. At this step, you wanna make sure not to leave any patches of hair behind. I'm not going for an entirely clean shave or else I would have used a razor, a blade. I just want to leave a little bit of stubble, but I do want to make it all even. So I'm going to go over it several times until it's just where I want it. I've been using Tips for Clips premium trimmers in this video. You can find them linked in the video description as well as the top of the comments. I highly recommend them. They're wireless yet still strong. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different beard styles. If you want to see how I cut my own hair, you can click the link at the end of this video. Here's a quick snapshot of all four styles. Thank you to all my followers, subscribers, all those who comment and like and share. Please continue to do so. Here are some of my other videos. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all who've purchased these products. Stay tuned for videos on how to maintain these products and I'll see you at the next video.